Hello everyone, Sage again. I know the gap between recordings is bigger than it should have been, but now I am finally ready and have the time and quiet to up to record to bring you all Journey to the Past or Journey Through the Past. It's Journey Through the Past. Journey Through the Past, Episode 3. Now, I have one of my old playlists here, which is a collection of videos I made of Kingdom Hearts cutscenes set to Legend of Zelda music. These aren't as bad as some of my old stuff is. I do like the way they match. But, um... I'm just going to look over them. This is what I've decided to look over for this video. Starting with the uh, Wind Waker mix. I should have come up with better names for this. All right, so um, to explain, this is the cutscene from Kingdom Hearts 2 when Sora and Riku were stuck in the realm of darkness. And, it's, and the music in the background is set to the Wind, Wa the Wind Temple theme from Wind Waker, which is... One of my favorite dungeon themes ever. And it meshes pretty well since there's no music in the background in this cutscene. At least I don't think there is. It's been years. But uh, let's, let's start watching. Now that I look at it again, it is a good match. Is there even any wind there? You think? Can he even see through those bangs? I know he doesn't trim them until the next game, but how did he get through the fight with Xemnas like that? <laughs> I do believe this is the first one I made, too. Looking back on this, I think there are better choices I could have made, like some peaceful beach music. One certain track from the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers games comes to mind. And now we move to the next one, which is the boss battle with Xemnas in Kingdom Hearts 2, set to Ganondorf's themes, basically. I think that... Uh, I th Actually, this idea came to me on a whim. I thought maybe Ganondorf's themes would suit Xemnas' battle. But one thing I didn't account for was that this was the very last boss battle of Kingdom Hearts 2, so perhaps Ganon's theme would have matched a bit better, but I still like the way it turned out. This is another cutscene with no music, so it was easy to insert. The timing is really good here. But then here the actual boss battle music starts and it gets awkward. I can't wait until I play this until I can play this game, but I need a PlayStation. I, I can see that the quality isn't too good here, but uh, let's see what I can do about that.
Ah, dang it. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Oh, well, at least it looks a little better. I'm, I'm actually going to skip through this because I, I actually put the entire, the entire fight in here and it may be a bit, it may, um, yeah. May get a little boring, so let me just skip to near the end here. Or at least that epic combination attack at the end. Gotta include that. Come to think, it, I could have put a different song on this. What is it that he said? We won't lose at all? I never I was never able to figure that out. Oh, and check out and check out this one. This has to be my favorite part. Alright, let's move on to the next one. This is the the Psyx battle from Kingdom Hearts 2, set to certain songs from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is pretty much the same thing as the last one. But, uh, um... What, what am I trying to say? It may not have been a good match to put up the theme of someone crazy like Mador Majora over someone as calm and collected as Syx. That's my main gripe with it. <clears throat> but the boss battle itself, it's, it's not any of Majora's boss themes, it's just the regular boss theme, which I am rather fond of. And now it gets awkward, because the original background music is on it. This, this, hmm. I might skip through this one, even though it's not as long as the last one. You know, just so it's not, uh, it's not repetitive, or it doesn't get tedious. That's one thing I want to avoid, tediousness. And once I do get my hands on a PlayStation 4 and the, uh, 1.5, 2.5 bundle that's apparently coming out, would you all be opposed to me doing a playthrough of one or a few of the games? Because I would personally love to. And the PlayStation 4 feature that I've seen some friends use would be very, would be very convenient to use. So yeah, I am looking forward to doing PlayStation playthroughs whenever I get one of the, whenever I get one. I won't do any music swaps there, because the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack is too good. This is just something I did for fun in my early days. That's getting close to the end. I think I'll let it play out.
this one I probably shouldn't have put the boss the boss fanfare over because it is kind of sad. Okay, next. Next, we come to enough, yet another scene from Kingdom Hearts 2, which is when Axel first appears. And with it, I synchronize the theme song of Burn from The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I thought it would be a good match for him because, you know, he uses fire and then burn, train puns. I meant to do the second cutscene with the same songs, but I never got around to it. This theme sounds cool, that Mexican flair. Axel's a cool character, too. I'm rather fond of him. Uh, sorry, I'm not talking. In times like this, I, I tend to get lost in nostalgia. And since this isn't a cringeworthy video, I don't have as much to say about how... about how not proud I am of it. I am actually proud of these, though. I do like Roxas, too. I find him adorable. In fact, Pretty much every everyone, Sora, and everyone who came from him are adorable, too. I know that sounds... Oh, and here's his battle theme, also from Spirit Tracks, of course. Too bad this, this fight doesn't last very long. Yep. The battle wasn't even tense, 20 seconds long. And now we come to the fifth and final video in the playlist, which is... What the... Moment, please. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's the internet going wonky. Anyway... The last video in this playlist is a scene from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, set to the, cham the theme of the Chamber of the Sages from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I thought that this, that this um, music would be fitting because the heart stations dives to the heart, heart chamber, whatever it's called, often reminded me of the Chamber of the Sages itself. And here's Ven with no shirt on, for some reason. I always wondered why that... Why, why does he not have a shirt? Why? This, this scene does have music, but it's quiet. This scene is deep, man. The heart of a newborn baby Sora finds its way to Vin from, for, from a bright light.
Uh, my sister and I had Birth by Sleep on the PSP and played through it. It had to have been one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts games, which is why I can't wait to be able to get it again. And now for the climax. And I must note that I completely adore Ventus as a character. He's young, energetic, and adorable. Even with no shirt. Okay, no, that sounded weird. Shut up. And with that, episode three has concluded. I will, I will definitely try not to take too long to record the next episode, but no promises, I'm afraid. But I will continue this series for sure. So until until next time, I'll I'll see you next time. Ugh. With love, Sage. <laughs>